top. I said, everybody doing well? Emotions and feelings, Maga. <clears throat> Maga, that's what we're going to go over today. And uh, feelings is, I guess, that's it, it, what it has there. Agitetska, can y'all all see that? But emotions and feelings, that's what we're going to go over today, like I said. But, <clears throat> you know, I sit there and try to think of, you know what emotions is? But I really couldn't think of what it could be like in Muskogee. Except uh, the only thing I could think of was Stina Ova or Gisetska. And to me, that is emotions because that's inside your body. So that was the only <clears throat> thing I could think of. And that's why I just put a Gisetska up there. Okay. All right. We're going to go on with this. <clears throat> Let me see. I'm working on the arrows. Okay. The ones that's just now coming in, y'all haven't missed nothing because we just now started. And the first one, I hope everybody's feeling like this today, especially because that means it's Friday. Okay. That means happy. Okay. Okay. I said, is everybody happy? The fuckskis. Inga, hithimahi muan. That's what happy means, is afatski. Afatski. If you say like, ajafatski, maksin what? You're saying, I'm happy. Okay? You're happy. You're full of joy. You're having a great day. Afatski. Okay. Can everybody say Afatski? Afatski. Afatski means what? Happy. Happy. Right. Happy. Now everybody say Aja Fatskis. Aja Fatskis. Aja Fatskis. And what does that one mean? I am happy. I am happy. I am happy. Good. I am happy. I am happy. Happy. Aja Fatskis. I am happy. Okay. All right. There's some more that needs in Haditi. Okay. We just now went over Afatski, the one that's just now coming in. Afatski means happy. And Afatski, Ajafatski means I am happy. Okay. For the ones that just came in. So Afatski. Afatski, right, happy. Ajafatski means I am happy. Ajafatski Mujanita. That one there means I am happy today. Okay. All right. We'll go to the next one. Fiknuki. Fiknuki. That means they're sad inside. Something they're sad about. I hope nobody's fiknuki. Muzanita dead fiknuki aligas on dos. I said, I hope nobody's sad today. That's what I said. Okay. 
So how do you say sad? Fiknoki. 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 Fiknoki is sad. Fiknoki. Okay. I was trying to think of a sentence. Uh, you could say, Chafik no kihodos. That means I am not sad. Chafik no kihodos. And what makes it that you're not sad is that kind of like be like one of the sentence because you have that word ko in there, which is that K-O. Chafik no kihodos. That means I am not sad. But fipnoki means sad. Okay. All right. Can everybody say fipnoki? Fipnoki. Fipnoki. Right. Fipnoki means sad. And everybody, let's say ja fipnoki godos. Ja fipnoki godos. Good. That means I am not sad. If you put mujanita safit nuki godos, that means I am not sad today. Okay? Hariti, let me admit some more. Okay. All right, we admitted some more in here today. We just went over the word afatski, which means sad, fitnoki. I mean, afatski, which means happy, fitnoki means sad. Okay. All right, I hope nobody's sad today. Y'all have a good day today. Afatski for lux. That means y'all be happy today. Okay, tabaki. right. I heard someone say tabaki. That means mad, tabaki. Okay. On here it says, can someone write, I am not sad today? Jajabaki godos would be, you would have CV, C V. Can you type it up there, Judy? Yeah, you can type it in there. Let's see. Let me see if I can attempt to spell that. Let's see. Ja. Ja. Bak. Ki. O. Dos. Ja, ja, baki, godos. Like I said, the KO makes it work. You're not sad. Ja, ja, baki, godos, hariti. Okay. Ja, ja, baki, godos. Oh, y'all want it sad? Was it sad or mad? Let me see. Mm -hmm. I am not sad. Oh, okay. I'll put I am not mad. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that's correct, though. The spelling right here. But y'all got one for I'm not mad as well on there, so I thought they meant mad. Excuse me. Okay. All right. I remember um, I have a little four-year-old great niece. You know, no one has never asked me that before. But she goes, how do you say, excuse me? And I looked at her, and then I looked at my sister, and I go, how do you say, excuse me? And me and my sister was looking at each other, and I told my little niece, I said, we'll have to get back on you on that. And she goes, okay. But... That would be, um, what was it? Um, Asan, Asan Vegas. I think that's what it was. 
uh, uh, Sunway Gita. I think that's what it is. Um, I'm not for sure on that. I wrote it down, but I don't remember where I put it. But I also want to tell her that that's what it is, or excuse me, is um, I think it was some way that's, that's kind of like saying like like she said, excuse me, or um, like let it go. It's, it's kind of like that's kind of what that means because there's really no specific word in some of these words like we have in English. So that's why it makes it kind of hard because you got to think of something close to it, kind of like you do in English. Um, and that's what I, to I haven't told her yet, but I was going to tell her that's what it was. But yeah, so awesome way, gucks. That means excuse me, okay? Jabaki, that was what we went over. Jabaki is mad. I put this cat in here because he looked like he made a good expression for being mad. Jabaki. Must have didn't get his food. Jabaki is mad. Can everybody say Jabaki? Jabaki. 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 Right. What does Jabaki mean? Mad. mad. How do you say mad? Jabaki. 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 I am not mad. I am not mad. We have a chat right here. Let me see what it is. Okay. I need to put on. Yep. Puffed up. Sometimes you see little kids do that when they're mad. They do that sometimes. All right. Okay, we'll go. Oh, oh hang on. I've got to mix some more. All right. We go to the next one right here. That's Inhomiji. Inhomiji. That's to be angry at. It don't matter if you're angry uh, at somebody. Maybe you're angry at, uh, maybe your car broke down. You're mad at your car. You're mad at your kids. You're mad at your husband, your wife, your kids, anybody. That's in homiji to be angry at or two little kids mad at each other. That's what you say, in homiji to be angry at. Okay. Can y'all say to be angry at? In homiji. 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 That one there is, is saying to be angry at. That's kind of like what it's saying. It's like, um, let me give you an example. Maybe it'd be like, that word in homage means like maybe this little boy was mad at that little girl. That's kind of like what that means to be angry at. And if you was to make a sentence, you could say, Ma chibana mahoktoji in homage tos. And you could say, That little boy is mad at that little girl. And that's what you'd be saying for in homage. Everybody understand this in homiji? In homiji. In homiji to be angry at, okay? Sometimes you can be angry at yourself or maybe you didn't get, get something done or something like that. You could be mad at yourself in homiji. All right, we go to the next one. This one here. Pingali, Pingali, that means scared or afraid. Bingali, everybody say scared or afraid. Bingali. Bingali. Good, Bingali. Bengali. 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 
That means you could be scared of a dream or scared of a bad dream or nightmare or something like that. Bengali, scared or afraid. That's why I put that little picture of that little girl. She's scared or afraid. Bengali. So he gonna say you that like like if I was gonna say I was scared, I would say Chabingalis. It would have an S on the end. Or Chabingalis, it'd be like, I'm the one that saying that I'm scared. But you would have to put that ch, the CV in the beginning to say that I am scared. Chabingalis with the S on the end. Chabingalis, that means mm -hmm. I would be saying I am afraid. Okay? Everybody get that? Any questions so far on any of these? Abichi, I have a chat. Cha equals I am. It's, yeah, when you say cha, it, it is. It's, um, um, it can also mean kind of like, I want to say like my. Like when you say chachki or jachki, you're saying my mom or my dad. So the CV can also mean it that way as well. Very, very good. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> yep. Anybody else see that picture on there? Someone got me tabaki. I remember um when I was in going to school up here at the college, I was doing that college algebra. And boy, let me tell you, that was some math I ain't never seen, but God, we were all in that class. And I, I remember there was this one student, he wasn't getting that math really well either. And I seen him sitting there, he was struggling. He was trying to figure it out. And uh, he goes, he goes, this thing, he goes, this math called me Chabak. That's what he said, because he was having a hard time with it, so he said it was making him mad. But, but he was saying Chabak, it's saying Chabakti, but in his version, it was like he was getting him mad at himself because he couldn't, you know, do that math and all that. I understand what he means. That's what I was sitting there thinking. But this one here is Bengali. Scared or afraid, okay? Next one we'll go to is startled or surprised. Maybe you come up to somebody and you scared him or surprise him. That's fixungi. 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 That's startled or surprised. Can I hear y'all say startled or surprised? Fixongi. Fixongi. Startled or surprised. Sometimes you might say, like someone came up and surprised you or startled, startled you, you would say, so fixumi jetis. That's the same way, but when you say it in a sentence like that, it's not always going to be fixongi. Fix zombies, just that word telling you what it is, startled or surprised. But like I said, if you use it in a sense, like someone scared you, it would be to fix jetis. You scared me or you surprised me. Okay, that's how you would kind of like say that in a sentence. Or you could say, to fix me, Jaya. That, then that's when you're asking them, did I scare you or did I startle you? Did I surprise you? Okay. Does everybody understand fixungi? Yes. Fixungi. Fixungi. Yeah. Very good. Fixungi. Startled or surprised. Okay. Everybody get fixungi. 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 She fix so me, Jess, Hanaya. Wow. She fix so me, Jess, Aya. That means did I scare y'all or surprise y'all? Startle y'all? That's kind of like that, the fix so me. 
to be content. Every time I hear that word content, it reminds me of cat. You know how they are? They just ate and they just so full. They just laying around on the counter on a chair or something, just laying in the sun. That's what I think of when I see the word to be content. Fik he said up. That means you're just comfortable. You don't really have nothing to worry about. You're probably just like just feeling good about everything. Fik he said up. I hope everybody fik he said up. Fik he said for lapses on those. That means I hope y'all are doing well, just like and content, just like it says. Fik he said up. Fik he said up. To be content. Can y'all say to be content for me? Magox. Pick he theta. 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 To be content. Pick he theta. Pick he theta. Pick he theta. Pick he theta. To be content. All is good. All is well. Okay. We got one more admin. Okay. We just went over fikhisida. That means to be content. The one that just came in. Fikhisida. Fikhisida. To be content. Next one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. To be lonely. Can anybody pronounce that one? Bohayaki. 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 To be lonely is Bohayaki. Bohayaki. Boyagi. 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 It's both. Boyagi. 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 It's to be lonely. Boyagi. Boyagi. That's correct. Buhiagi hilimahi. Buhiagi fulak tiges on dos. That's just like I said a while ago. I hope y'all are not lonely. Okay. All right. The ones that just came in is Buhiagi. That's to be lonely. Buhiagi. Buhiagi. If I say Jabuhiagi Godos, I'm saying I'm not lonely. If I say Jabuhiagi, I'm saying I am lonely. Do y'all see the difference? Jabuhiagi Godo, Jabuhiagi Dos, that means I am lonely. The other one means I am not lonely. Because if I say Ko in there, Jabuhiagi Godos, I am not lonely. Chabuhiagis, I am lonely. Okay. Do y'all see the difference in those? How you say I am lonely and I am not lonely? Mm -hmm. Anybody have any questions? Let's hear y'all say it. Hada Magax to be lonely. Oh hi Yagi. Oh hi Yagi. Oh Yagi. Oh Yagi. Can someone write it? I am not lonely. Okay. Bohayagi. Let's see if I can write. Bohayagi. Kudos.
Sabuhia Gigodos, I am not lonely. And the other one, you would just write that. Sabuhia Gi. You will have the cook in there, but you will just have Sabuhia Gi Dos. That one there is, I am lonely. Oh, this one here I wrote is, I am not lonely. But he took that K O out. Jabuhiagi godos and Jabuhiagis means I am lonely without the dos. And you would put that S on Jabuhiagis or I am lonely. Jabuhiagi godos, that means I am not lonely if you have the KO in there. And Jabuhiagi dos. Or Jabuhiagis, that means I am lonely. <clears throat> on that one, you can put dos on there if you want, or you can just put that C V P O H Y V K E S. That, that's still the same as Jabuhiagitos or Jabuhiagis. That means I am lonely, but Jabuhiagitos means I am not lonely. Okay. Everybody get that one? Okay. Did everybody understand so far? Yes. Okay. So, so Mahaya, uh, you can put an S on the end and that's kind of a contraction of dos? Yeah, you don't have to put dos in there. You can just say jabuhiagis and that means that... Okay. And that's still the that's still the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Anybody else have any questions? Okay, we'll go. Marichi, one more question or all right, Inga. Give me all my old. Okay, we'll go to the next one. Okay, this one here, this one means pouty or soaky. Eliski. Eliski. Can everybody say that? My box. Eliski. 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 Eliski means like, um, it's not really. It kind of does have like being mad along with that, but eliski means like just like they say you're you're pouting or you know you're sulky and kind of like oh I would say like a little child would do that if they didn't get nothing eliski eliski dos means they're pouty or sulky. Eliski. Eliski. I like this boozy right here. He not want to pay attention to you because he's Eliski. Mm -hmm. Eliski. That's kind of like what it is like. You talking to somebody and they don't want to listen to you. They're Eliski. Eliski. Pouty and sulky. Hadamagas. Eliski. 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 got full doggies. I said, let's not, uh, let's not be pouty or sulky. Okay. Let me see this. Ja Eliski goes. That one there, Jailis Giggles. Yeah, you could be telling somebody Jailis Giggles, but you might have to put those on that one for Jailis Giggles. That one kind of completes it on that one. On those. Okay. Jailis Giggles. Or you could say, Anda Elis Giggles. That's the same as I am not pouty or I am not sulky. OK. 
Okay. Uh huh. There you go. And the word undot just means like you talking about yourself. Undot. Undot e list of those. Everybody else could be pouty or sulky or e listy, but you're saying you're not when you say undot. Okay. All righty. Everybody understand this one so far? E listy. E listy. Very good. E listy. One more chat. It's a e he is this how you spell it? Undot. I believe so. Undot. Undot. V N T V T Jordan, that's undot. V -A -V -A. Okay, yeah. That's correct right there. Undot. V N T V T undot. On that, those are somebody who supposed it on though. That means I said sometimes I get mixed up with my V and the A's. Okie dokie. All right. But I don't get elisky about it. All righty. This one here, embarrassed. I'll see. I'll see. And I'll see, Margots. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see could mean embarrassed, maybe shy, maybe like um, kids might go like their first day of school and they're kind of scared. And it's not really embarrassed, but I'll see me maybe like they're shy. They're scared to meet their teacher. It's kind of like that as well, besides being embarrassed. I'll see. 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 see. That means when y'all uh, speak the language, I say y'all don't be shy. Okay. Nervous. Um. No, we got another word for nervous. I think it's coming up. But Aussie means embarrassed or being shy. That's what Aussie is. Aussie go the wagati. That means y'all don't be shy. Y'all don't be embarrassed. Okay. Everybody get Aussie. And Moniara. How do you say weak? Luwagi. 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 That, that means weak. You might have worked out in your flower bed or garden or just did any kind of work. Or even like if you haven't ate all day, you just feel weak. That's Luwagi. 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 <clears throat> you forgot to put a line over Luwagi on the even. Luwagi. Luwagi. That means weak. I'm saying if I don't eat, I get weak. That's what you're saying when you, the one I just said, you get weak, you get luwagi. Okay. Or someone can say, chiluwagi di. Remember, that's G on the CE. When they say G, they're not talking about themselves, but they're talking about somebody else. G. Chiluwagiri. That means I'm asking y'all, are y'all weak? Or are you weak? That, that means just like this guy right here, he needs to take a rest. Chiluwagiri. That means are you weak? Okay. All right, everybody understand Luwagi? You know this word Luwagi? Sometimes, uh, Luwagi rules. That means, that means I am weak. Luwagi rules. Chaichi. Is this supposed to be Chaichi? 
Polo wa gigodos. Very good. Polo wa gigodos. Right. We are not weak. When they put that book on there, that makes it plural. Polo wa gigodos. We are not weak. Okay. And what I was going to say about this luwagi too is Jayichi, uh, Hilimahi, I said, yeah, it's good to be strong. Sometimes they refer luwagi too as like something that's just born, like a, like a baby or like any anything that's born like a newborn sometimes they call luwagi too because they're real you know they're real vulnerable and you know newborn sometimes they call them luwagi okay so this one some of these muscogee words you know it can have more than one one uh more than one meaning to them Yobolo wagi, elephant or lip nose. You got nose, that's yobo, and luwagi, that can also, to me, that always means limber or soft. Luwagi. That's why the elephant, he's got, he's descriptive. Or he got his Muscogee name, he's yobolo wagi. That means limp nose, or like she said, limber nose or soft nose. Luwagi, okay? You don't want to twist that for your bowl of wagi, okay? All right, everybody understand Luwagi? Can be a weak maga, maga tihan. I said this word weak, can y'all say it? Luwagi. 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 Mabiboji Luwagi ro. That means that baby is, he's, he's uh, tender or he's weak or he's just a newborn. This one here, he's showing he's not weak. He's strong. He's yikchi. Yikchi magakchi ha. Yikchi. Yikchi. What am, I, what am I saying if I say, if I say, what am I saying? Are you strong? Are you strong? You are strong. Right. I am strong. I am strong. Very good. I am strong. What if I say, what if I say, we're not strong. Right. I am not. Oh, very good, very good. Right, this word yikchi means strong, yikchi. You see where he's lifting that, look up that big old cement block? Yikchi means strong, but this word yikchi can mean something that's difficult, like I was talking about that math. Anything that's difficult, can also be described this way, yikchi. Yikchi. You could say, un yikchi dos. When you say that, you're saying, that is hard for me to do, or it is hard for me. That's what you would be saying when you say, un yikchi dos. You see this chat? Ja yikchi go dos. I am not strong. I am strong, ja yikchi dos. Ilimahi dials no sin. But that's right, that's correct. Yip chidi. Jip chidi. That means are you strong? Very good. Y'all coming out with them good sins right there before I even tell y'all. That's pretty good. Jip chidi. How you want? Zalua boy, Hoggis. For that question, I'm saying right now I feel weak. Okay, on the chidos, that's hard for me. chidos, I am strong. That's good. On the chidos, me that is that's hard for me. That one there could be a good term for that math I was telling you. On chidos, that means it's hard for me. 
Chaitchidos. I am strong. Ihi Chaitchidos. That means, yes, I am strong. Hilimahi, Hilimahi. So everybody got Yikchi. Let me hear y'all say Yikchi. 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 Machi, Machi. Chimi o Machi. That means awesome or good word. They're, they're acknowledging you and praising you when they say Machi. Okay, this one is to be nervous, uneasy. Remember someone asked about nervous earlier? This in hudida. In hudida. To be nervous or uneasy. I said that word in hudida, a good description for me would be like, a, you know, when like a little toddler is trying to take his first walk and he's kind of afraid to actually take their steps. That's kind of like what in who did a, to me, that's what I see when I see that, you know, they're scared or they want to take the step, but they're, you know, they're afraid. It's kind of like that too, being in who did a, to be nervous or uneasy, okay? In who did a, okay? Can anybody else come up with a sentence with this one? In who did a. In hodidos. Right. In hodidos means they are nervous or they are uneasy. And that is a, that is a good That is a good description. I know that you had a hard and hard. What's the last word? In hodida. In hodida dos. Yeah, that's, that's a good one too. Like, yeah. Like you have to go make a speech or talk in front of somebody. That's kind of like what they're talking about. To be nervous or uneasy. And just like Ella saying, if she has to sing by herself, she says she gets nervous. So that would be in mm -hmm. In Anxious. John in who did who Yep, John in who did who did the who Not nervous. Hang on, y'all. I'm about to put it back up here. Let me see. Let me get it on here. Can y'all still see that? Mm -hmm. on. Yes. Hey, hey. Okay, let me see this chat. <clears throat> anxious. I'm in for the rules. He is not anxious. But in who did the kudos? Okay. Hang on. Trying to fix this where it's showing bigger. Can y'all still see that where it says I'm holding mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. In Hodida, to be nervous or uneasy. You could say, just like Ella was saying, that, was saying, on Hongozi, Nebahana Noat, on Hodida, on Hodidos. You don't have to put that uh, on there at the end. You can say it like that. Unhungles, Nebahan and what? Unhungles. So it's like you're saying, when I have to sing by myself, you're saying, I'll get nervous or I'll get uneasy. 
what that means, unjudidos. You don't have to put that TV on there when you say it like that. Like you get nervous when you have to sing by yourself or you have to stand up there and say a speech or something. Unjudidos. That means like you're saying, I get nervous or I get scared or I get anxious. Then that's kind of like what that means. Why? On top of that, you probably got anxiety if you got this. Because that's like something that you have to do, but you're kind of afraid to do it. That's what this one is. Unhodida. Okay? Everybody understand that so far? Mm -hmm. oh, let me see this chat right here. Jinhodide. Uh, how you want, Mongos? I said right now I'm not in Hodida. Unhodida for those. Unhodida. I would be unhodida for those. You would take the dot out of there. That was kind of hard to say. So everybody understand this one? In Hodida. To be nervous or uneasy. Hada makka. In hodida. In hodida. In hodida. In hodida. In hodida. In limahi maro. Kumyara. This one, anxious or hopeful. How would you say that? In honithi. In honithi. In honithi. Say in. In hon thi. In hon thi. In hon thi. Very good. In hon thi. 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 Anxious or hopeful. Or you may even be wish. Wishing something. Or wishing something. Good happen, or you're hopeful, or you're anxious about it. In Hunti. In Hunti. Uh, Mahaya. You hear? In Hunti, Margaret said. Uh, I thought that was um, to be lazy. That's in Hunti. Hello, Margaret. That would be in Hosti. E N H O R R E. In Hosti. Oh, okay. Okay. It's got a double sound then. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. It's got different sounds. In Hosti means anxious or hopeful. The one she was talking about is in Hosti. That is lazy. In Hosti. E N. Or what is it? Oh, it's much. Okay, everybody get that? Just hopeful. Yeah, that one you're talking about is in Hosti. In Hosti. That, that one there is lazy. Or laziness. In Hosti. That one is E-N-H-O-R-R-E, -R -R -E, like I said. This was in Hosti. You can hear the N in. So everybody understand in Hosti? Anxious or hopeful? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. And it would be like, um, it would be like, let's see how I would say it. Like, Women want to get those. I said I am always hopeful. And what is it? Hopeful. 
to me grateful that I know y'all want to learn this language and all the things and the sittings and all that. So that's doing good. Healing my feet. Okay. Next one. Hit seconds. To be bothered or war worried. No. 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 You just want to be by yourself. You don't want to be bothered. That's Nawati. If I say Chanawatitos, that means I'm worried about some more, or I'm I'm just feeling bothered. That's what that means, Chanawati. But if I say Chanawati Godos, I'm not worried or not bothered. Okay. So, everybody understand Naoti? Naoti? Yeah, let me see this chat now. Okay. Yeah, it is easy to mix those one words you were talking about. Yeah, Inhuti and Inhuti. Yeah. Is there a different tone for anxious versus hopeful? I think we had. Those follow up, we'll go back over this. We have we got a few more minutes left. So now he is to be bothered, worried. Next one is Im It says to be even or to trust. Im When it has that word him in there. That means you believe in somebody or you trust somebody. In one theater, that's kind of like that one. Mm. Peter. So, mm. Peter. In one theater, to believe in or trust. Yeah. In like, one theater. Yeah. I'm in one theater. Mm-hmm. In one theater. I'm in one theater. To trust or believe in something. Okay. You mean one theater. Okay. If I say Jimin Hun Tagaidos, that means I believe in you. Okay. All right. Y'all ready for the next one? Let's see. Let me get that question real quick. Chat. Can someone write that? I believe in you. Yeah, come key. Yep. Can someone get it already? Do I need to write it? Right. Is it this Jimin Hun? Jimin Hun Tidos. That one there is like, someone like saying that person believes in me. That's kind of like what this one means. Jimin Hun Tidos. That means not me, but that person right there believes in me. That's kind of like what this one is, but that one would be the way I said it. Let me see if I can say it. Hold on. This one right here. Jimin Junta, you know, if I say that, that means I believe in y'all. But that one above it, that means that person over here believes in you. Okay, do y'all see the difference in that? First one, the one uh, Tad wrote, Jimin Hun That means someone, that person right there believes in you. 
that one, that's what that is. And this one, Jimin Hoon Tairos means I believe in you. Y'all see the difference in the writing and the spelling? That means that person over there believes in you. And this one here is I believe in you. Okay. Everybody. So Okay, anybody have any more questions on this one? Okay, this one is phrase the sick hungry. Sick hungry. Sick hungry means you're brave. You're not afraid, you're not scared. It's like you can get out there and just handle anything. It's like Superman here or superstar or whatever, but this brave, becomey. Becomey. Maro, no, Maro, becomey is brave, becomey. You say just becomey, Rose. You're saying I'm brave. What you need? Okay. If I say, if I say it with a G, I'm saying you are brave. Okay? Okay. Everybody understand G and J so far? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let me see what the next one is. Okay. This one might be the last one. I'm not for sure. That is to love. Anu Anu Gijida. Anu Gijida. That means like when you have love for something or someone. Anu Gijida. Anu Gijida. Right. Anu Gijida. Anu Gijida. Your brother, sister, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. Anu Gijida means to love something. You could love your job. You could love your pets, your family. It's Anu Gijida to love. But if you say, if you say that, you're telling somebody, I love you. Okay? Please check. Right, Maru, I love you. I love you. Okay? To love. 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 To To love. To love. To love. Or love, okay. Everybody get that. I know get you that. Can y'all say that? My I know get you I I know get you I get you that. I I know get you I get you that. 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 I all right. Anybody have any more questions on feelings and emotions? I think aboga it's... aboga ojes. Inga nagiri. Ah, uh, iji no gijes or iji no gijes los edos. What what does that mean? Um, Both. When you say it, it that, that last part when you just said it, mm -hmm. it's kind of like you put emphasis on that. You know what I mean? Okay. Say that you really love. When you say it like that, you put mm -hmm. it on that kind of like showing an expression like that's how much you care or love that person. When you say that, and mm -hmm. that's the in Muscogee words, and Anukijida, that's to love. Anuki. Yeah. So if you say, is, is there a EG no gijis? That's EG no gijis. EG no gijis. No gijis. That means I love you. Mm. Okay. Okay. And even the word anu gitska, that still means love. Okay. We are EG no gijis. That means I love you. How would you say, like, love for everyone? Um, 
So everybody understand that? <clears throat> Anybody have any questions? That word chino gijes, um, that means I love you too. It's, it's like it's a slang. Um, it's a short version of saying it's just chino gijes. That means that you're telling someone that you care for them or you care for them. All right, that's one o'clock. Anybody have any? Questions or anything before we have to go off? Mahaya. Uh-huh. On that, um, Bunaga Wohanuad and Hididos, Mamundon, uh, not, um, nagging, yeah, Bunai, Bunai, just shot. Get they don't do as in, um, Jen, on Bunai, it's shot, you know. Madu. Inga dini o madu jigeje. Anio anio saja kats kibo boya. Zari do na ga hanyo yutakta. Aha. Fundoa gacha. Mm-hmm. Mamon don. Mamon don. Um. Uh, ten o'clock or snow what? Uh, man ma bohe da han es goen. Ah, they don't do us. Did I do bona 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 hoya son? His uh, his idos. Thank you to all of y'all for coming in for these lessons. This is my last lesson because the Albira Al Mahayas, the Mishri Mahay, y'all probably already know who they are anyway, but I was what I think Miss Ella was. It makes me happy and proud to see y'all in here learning this language because if y'all keep going, y'all gonna learn more and more. So don't never stop. Y'all just keep going. Don't never be scared, embarrassed to say the worst. Just say it because that's how y'all wanna learn. I wanna hear y'all speaking more. And y'all did very well. Y'all made the secrets and all that. Y'all made me proud. Y'all keep it going. Adam